Hey guys, welcome back to Life with Roger. I have been asked by so many people if I would coach them, train them, help them out, whatever. So I created, uh, and I'm in the middle of creating, an eight week boot camp video series that you can follow along with. And if you follow along with it, you can hit me up in the Discord uh, for some one on one chats to keep you motivated. Uh, I will be extremely hard on you because that's what fucking boot camp is. I'm not going to be holding your hand while you vomit and holding your hair back. We're not going to be buddy buddy. I'll be the guy screaming at you to make you be the better you. I'm calling the series Water Fasting Boot Camp 8 Weeks to a, a Brand New You. And uh, to start, I've got this guy Jack in English. He's going to be my, uh, my prototyping guy to make sure that somebody that I'm not having physical one-on-one -on -one contact with can actually do what I need done. Uh, I have requirements for people that want to go through this boot camp. And if you would like to, go ahead and contact me directly on Discord or Facebook. And uh, we'll go over the rules. The biggest thing is, I'm going to use your videos on my channel to show the before and afters of different uh, different people in different places and stuff like that. So it's an eight week boot camp. It's a 30 day water fast followed by uh, 30 days of general health, nutrition and exercise training. Uh, so that when you come out the other end, you are better equipped to keep the weight off. It's not just, we're going to fast for fucking eight weeks and you'll lose a lot of weight. I mean, you would lose a lot of weight, but you're not going to change your habits. You're not going to learn. So it, fuck all that. I want to do you right. Now, I expect a short video intro for each person and then a check-in once a week. So let's go ahead and this is Jack's introductory video. He goes into some pretty cool details, so I just let it run. Good morning, YouTube. My name's Jack, and I'm about to embark on the Life of Rogers eight week water fasting boot camp. I think he's used the tagline eight weeks of awesomeness, struggling, and pain. <laughs> so it's going to be pretty tough, I, um, I think. Um, but I'm excited. I'll tell you a bit about myself first. I'm 27 years old. I'm about 180 centimeters tall or five foot 10. And I live in the Southwest of England. So you'll be able to see when I show you outside, classic British weather. It's raining today. Cool. So Roger wanted me to make this intro video just to give you a bit of info about myself. Um, I'll go through some of my past weight history. I'll talk about what it is that I want to achieve doing the fast, and then we will weigh me in for the first time for day one. So this is my weight history, and I've pretty much been tracking it for seven years. Six years, 10 months, and 24 days. When I started tracking my weight, I was about 20 pounds lighter than I am now. So I was around 180. And then, as you can see, I've sort of jumped all about the place. Mostly I've been in the overweight category and pretty much since 2018, uh, when I got back from a work trip, where you can see I lost a lot of weight over the course of two months. I shot all the way back up to where I am now, which is around about 200 pounds. Uh, so I'll show you the particulars. My highest ever recorded weight was on the 1st of September, which is 204.2 pounds. And my lowest weight ever uh, was 160 pounds on the 11th of January, 2018. And I'll show you some pictures from around about those periods so here's a photo of me when I was probably at my peak of fitness. This was when I did a half marathon in around about an hour and a half. 
and that was the best I'd felt. That was the, probably the best I'd looked ever. And I was really happy with where I was at. In reality, what I should have been doing around about that time was starting a resistance training program because I was good at running, but I didn't ever lift any weights or anything like that. And I should have tried to have put on maybe five or 10 pounds of muscle. And I probably would have had a very good physique. Around about this time, I also got a DEXA scan. So what does DEXA stand for? It stands for Dual Energy X-ray Absorptiometry. And it's a form of bone density scan that's used by doctors to identify if people are having issues with their bone mineral content. So typically it's used to diagnose osteoporosis. What it does is it passes a low dose of X-rays through your body and it interprets how those are absorbed to determine how strong your bones are. The happy side effect of this test is that it can be used to identify the composition of your body in other ways. So I went to Bodyscan, which is a company based in London, and I had a, had, I've had a couple of DEXA scans done. I've had three in total. My first one was in 2016, and like I said, that was probably when I was at, at my best shape. So as you can see, on my uh, total body fat, it was below the average. I came in about 23.7 on my BMI, and you can see the x-ray result here with the key underneath that shows you the fat to lean to bone uh, in terms of the coloration and i was pretty lean i didn't have much fat on me at all and that's shown in my results here so i had a total of 13 kilograms of fat included with my lean body mass and skeleton that came to 74 kilograms with a body fat percentage of 17.8%. Uh, you can see in different areas of the body I was carrying uh, weight in different ways. So I tend to carry weight on my legs. My legs are typically higher in body fat than anywhere else. And I'm quite lucky in the sense that I don't carry a lot of fat on my trunk. So that's like the abdominal region and the chest region. I don't typically tend to carry much fat there. So the specific health markers that a lot of people look for with their DEXA scan is the VAT or the visceral adipose tissue. So this is the tissue that surrounds your organs and it makes you more predisposed to conditions like diabetes and other disorders of excess. So at the time in 2016, I had a very, very low visceral adipose tissue mass. I was only about 200 grams in my body um, and that total area brought me to 42.3. So they say that 100 is a normal result for visceral adipose tissue uh, area, 100 centimeters squared, and I came in at 42. So I felt pretty good about that at the time. And like I said, I was happy with my physique uh, I was just not able to maintain that and I didn't build upon that success. So now we have the benefit of fast forward in four years and seeing how my DEXA scan went two days ago. So starting off with my BMI, you can see I've gone from that 23 to 29 now. So I'm just on the cusp of entering the classification of obese. Um, the actual X-ray itself you can see i've put on a lot of a lot of that yellowy tissue um, around my midsection my shoulders my legs pretty much everywhere uh, the the totals have changed quite drastically as well so i've gone from having 13 kilograms of of fat mass on my body to having 28 overall so i've more than doubled the amount of fat mass I have. Curiously, my lean body mass has gone up, but not by much, only by a, a kilogram or so. Um, and that's probably as a result of carrying the, the larger amount of weight around for the last couple of years. Um, I've, I've, had, I've added 20 kilograms to my weight overall. And you can see I've gone from that 17.8% to 31.1% body fat, which is a a pretty huge increase. Uh, moving over to my visceral adipose tissue, 
you can see I've gone from having that 200 grams to having now 600 grams which is more than tripled the amount of uh, area that I've got and remember a hundred centimeters squared was that um, was that healthy level I'm now over a hundred I'm 128 which will put me at more risk of things like heart disease of things like uh, diabetes and those those Western diseases we've discussed so that's where I was at the DEXA scan goes into more detail it gives you some more uh, information and it actually gives you a side by side so you can see the three scans that I've had I've got 2016 on the left hand side 2018 in the middle and 2020 on the right this is also shown in this graph here you can see 2016 I was at my lowest I was pretty similar in 2018 not too far away but then since then I've massively tanked on the weight so what does this mean for me well it's not the end of the world uh, a lot of people uh, suffer with their with their weight there are a lot of people that are obese and in fairness there are some people that are in a in a worse position than me or a more difficult position than me uh, so it's not the end of the world I've done it once so I can do it again and Rogers said to me that he thinks that I have the building blocks to get back to where I was at and he thinks that I've got a good um, starting position so I think I can pull this back um, I'm interested to see if I can get in eight weeks back to where I was in terms of being at 17% I have booked a DEXA scan for December so I should be able to get another scan and we'll be able to tell exactly where I am at um, in December so fingers crossed uh, we'll be able to get back to that point I would like to get below uh, 160 pounds I think ideally what I'd want to get to is around about 150 or 155 and that's after refeeding so you have to bear in mind you'll probably put on about 10 to 15 pounds when you start eating again or at least that's what I presume um, so by the end of my fasting period which will be eight weeks from now I hope to be around about 140 pounds which will be very very low for me uh, but I think it's achievable and I'll still be in the normal category for my for my uh, BMI so I won't be unhealthy um, but I'll certainly be very lean and that can be my starting off point for starting a uh, sort of resistance training program where I try and build up a little bit more muscle mass now I have felt a lot of shame about my weight gain, uh, which in turn results in me feeling low, which in turn results in me binging on the foods that make me feel good. So it's sort of been a vicious cycle the last six months in particular where I've gained a lot of the weight uh, that you'll see in the following photos. But what I wanna reiterate is that I'm, I know a lot of people are in the same position and I know a lot of us have put on weight, particularly in the lockdown. So really doing this water fast and getting back to, to ground level will be a good opportunity to start another project and a new sort of fitness journey into good health and feeling, feeling confident about myself again. So if anyone else wants to take part in this, I know Roger's putting videos up for people to do so. And it would be awesome if in his Discord, anyone is going to do this with me, it would be awesome to do it um, in a team or in a group. So I have done a short fast in the past before. I did roughly two weeks and I had some good results. Um, and I didn't feel particularly hungry, I kept my activity really low, but I sort of missed food from a psychological and a social point of view, sharing food with people or just the enjoyment that I get from eating. One of the reasons that I followed Roger 
and what he does is I think he is an expert in fasting in water fasting he's done a lot of water fasting in his time uh, so I think he's an expert in that regard but also he's got a no nonsense approach he's sort of got that tough love attitude and I thought he'd be a really good coach for me going through this journey because he would tell me how it is and he wouldn't expect me to fail because he's not the sort of person that would fail or um, or go back on his word or have issues with his willpower I feel like when he sets his mind to something he just goes for it and he does it and that's something that I look up to that's something I'd want to emulate so that's why I got in touch with him last night on his stream I said would you be willing to help me out and to his credit he said he's willing to help anyone out uh, so hopefully we'll get through this in fact I'm not going to say hopefully we will get through this and I will come out the other end with a good result and hopefully this case study will lead to other people following in my steps and using Roger's program to get similar results so without further ado let's weigh in Okay, so we'll step on. So as you can see, 204 pounds is my starting weight. So this is where we're starting at. This is the product of a lot of binge eating, a lot of comfort in food, and all of that's gonna go away very quickly. So I'm starting at day one now. I'll weigh in again at the end of the week uh, on Monday. On Mondays, Roger's asked me to weigh in. And that's the plan. I'm going to go straight into day one's workout now and wish me the best of luck. I'll see you next week. Cheers. And thank you to Roger for this awesome program and taking a chance on me. Thank you. So yeah, I told him that he should reach 193 in a week, as long as he followed my rules. That's going to include his variance. So it's very early in the morning on Monday, and uh, the end of week one. It's been quite a tough week actually. I have found it quite difficult. I've definitely had moments of weakness, but I got there in the end. And I'm very, very curious to see how I weigh in. Uh, so without further ado, I'm going to step on the scales. End of week one, and where are we at? One ninety-two point six. So the absolute madman was bang on. He said that I should eat. I should reach uh, one ninety-three. And I was actually 192.6, which is crazy because that's 11.4 pounds in the first week, which is very exciting. Um, I'm going to have to rush this video because I do need to get ready for work. But um, that's just awesome. Amazing progress. And I can't believe it. I'm going to keep up with the exercises. I'll try and film something in the midweek, perhaps, showing myself doing some of the exercises. But... It's a really, really positive start. I hope it keeps up and make sure you follow Roger's channel to see my progress as we try and get down to that 150. Cheers. Here's the thing. In the, towards the end of the second week, that Friday, he got in an accident. He, he continued losing weight and he was right around 188 when he got in the accident. But his boot camp had to end early. So, Jack, wishing you well, mate. Uh, hope you get better. I'm sure you will. You're young. Sucks about the car, but it is what it is, kid. Hit me back up when you're back on your feet, and we'll start over again. And we'll get you down to that 150 for you to make that lovely fiancé of yours happy. Thanks, kid. The rest of you, thanks for watching.